Well, hello and welcome to another video. Um, I've got Morty Main here with me. We played a game uh, a little while ago against um, Red. Here is um, what's Red's name? Uh, T. He's playing as the Goths, and then Purple is Bidgley. He's playing as the Italians. Uh, Morty over here is trying out the Britons. Uh, in green and I am the goths in blue so as we get started with this game uh, we know the sieves um, I was pretty confident saying oh, I can take on the goths goths be goths I can I can handle that I feel like I can get a better jump on them and I, I know what to play against them because obviously I'm goths um, we're thinking well Italians actually Morty's archers is probably gonna be pretty decent against them so that's kind of our thought process. Normal start here. Um, uh, just luring deer. Um, eating our boars. Um, exploring the map. Um, now is when we realize that Morty is up against the Italians and I'm up against the Goths. So our plan here is pretty good, or at least on track anyways, for what we were kind of thinking uh, when we opened the game. Um, anything you were thinking at this point, Morty? Just trying to get the eco going? Yeah, just trying to get eco going. I actually did notice, now that we're in here, uh, how great of a wood line that you had, but you chose the pocket. That's true. Yeah, That wood so, line is super thick. <laughs> yeah, no, this is great. This is a good map. Uh, the, TC here, TC here. Like, great. I even deleted the whatever walls were there. And this is a nice deep cubby that I feel is safe if I get overrun, which yeah. unfortunately will come into play here. I'm already on the way up to feudal age. I don't know what you guys are doing. Um, oh, we could oh you know, just playing eco city. <laughs> we could have got that scout if we'd noticed, but we're probably all on auto scout at this point. Um, now that we've seen who the enemies are, um, I'm actually score leading. <laughs> Oh, I was for a second there. Oh yeah. Yep. Back to it. Yep. So let's see what pur Purple's doing. So he is gonna go fast castle. Um, Red is still in dark age, which was suspicious. We uh, were both talking about it too. We were like, uh, is he ever gonna get to dark? You know, like feudal? Yeah, because I you were like, why is he still in dark age? That's sus. Well, because um, he's goths. And yeah, and. Like, I, I, it's they're, not they're getting up to feudal pretty quick. Now we actually did spot this scout, and we did. We're like, he's in dark age; he can't run away. Uh, now he finally gets to feudal age, so he can theoretically run away. But we've got the first hits on them. Um. Now purple's going to come over and help uh, as Morty still gets some hits on him. Um. Now Morty runs away, um, and I'm going to come back. Uh. Okay, so they were, but now I'm actually making a spearman, or I will be shortly. No, I already have one, yeah. Uh, did you lose your you scout there? Scout. No, you got the, you got the red scout, and then, yeah, nice. you, you, you played that well. That was actually you a good play. Yeah, L lured him around the spearman so he could get multiple hits. You can see um, purple's dropping two TCs. Yep, two town centers immediately, so he's going full boom. I'm going relic and a little bit slower boom. Um, you know, I'm I'm used to getting castle age before everyone at this point, so like I don't like go full boom. I also go for relics, but uh, yeah, he's not he's not doing your typical thing. He's still not even castle age. It's past 17 minutes. He's gonna get there at 17:30. You know, our our first thought is, well, maybe we've lost <laughs> enough games that we're finally matching up against a noob. That was my yeah. thought. You remember me saying that? That is where we started this. Yeah, this is where we started. Oh, all right. I guess we're up against a noob. Yeah, like purple score was was decent. You know, we were thinking purple, and he had a, a pretty good castle time. So we were thinking purple's probably you know, the leader normal. of the scores. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like there's always usually one mediocre player and then one semi decent player to a two v two. But if you look over here, we don't see this. But he's going siege workshop monastery. Which is a fast imp. Um, and okay. goths are definitely not known for a fast imp. Uh, they don't really get anything out of imp, but there he goes. He's already clicked it. 
Um, but the thing is, the Italians team bonus is that anyone on their team, once you're in Imperial Age, you can make the Condo Tiro, which is the unique infantry unit from the Italians. You can make it out of a barracks. Oh, look at this. So Purple's also getting the tech in his market. Oh yeah, coinage, so he can he can sling the it's other guy. Less, yeah, it's less um... less tax on this this um, given yeah. the resources. So red is preparing his infantry upgrades, making some barracks, um, and I'm just you know thinking, okay, third TC going down now, casual boom. Um, Morty's going a castle, making a second TC. He's gonna go longbows. But, yeah, they have a plan here. Uh, so I've seen this before, and, you know, a lot of the reasons why uh, we've been losing lately, uh, I blame T90 more than anybody because he features these uh, videos on his channel where it's, oh, this, this player came up with this cool strat, uh, and it's so hard to beat. And then now all of a sudden everyone's using it. Um, and then there ends up being like one of those strats for just about every sieve. Well, this is actually a video he did about a year ago where you have the Goths and Italians as um, a uh, team. And then basically the Italian just exists to make eco. Goths goes imp. As soon as he hits imp, he can make condotieros and he just floods. Um, so I've seen it before. I've actually done it before myself. Uh, so, but it did not come to my mind in this game. So through all of that, uh, you can see on the on the left that purple has already sent plenty of res to red at this point. He just yeah, he's keeps dumping. Yeah, there he goes. More yeah. more gold. Six hundred ninety two yeah, gold. Dang. Yeah. So there's a lot, and it's just getting sent over to him every every couple of minutes. Like you'll see him him donate more. And Red has actually also already got Rams, which I've never seen that combined with this approach, but it's a good play because uh, infantry and Rams makes them go faster, makes them attack harder, and buildings go down really fast to them. So, and when he hit Imperial, we both, yeah, I was like, oh wow, he's an imp. And you were like, uh oh. Yeah, that's when I remembered this strategy. I was like, oh crap, there's they're going to do condo tiros. And I was like, dude, make archers fast. <laughs> and you're like, and I think that's your barracks. So you can make a archery range. And then I'm like, okay, let me build more barracks. Cause I'm going to have to defend with something. Of course I grab a villager from this end of my eco, go over here and I'm going to build it with one villager. So, you know, way too slow, way too slow. But then here they are. You can see them coming. I tell Morty, uh Oh, here it is. <laughs> Um, there's not really any stopping this. Um, he's just going to go right for the gate. He's got uh, the condos. Condos have 80 HP and 11 attack. Now, they only have one melee armor and no pierce armor. So that's why archers would be good against them, in theory. But they still have 80 HP, which means you still got to get a lot of archer hits on them. Um, I made this house just to temporarily delay him. I know it's not going to last very long, but I'm trying to get some infantry out. I just got the man-at-arms and longswords upgrades. I'm trying to make some more barracks around my eco to try to try to get some units out on the field to defend against this. But uh, this is this is going to end quick. <laughs> now, do you think that those would have died to Calvary? Um. Like, if you went knight? I think, well, knights might have more attack uh, than archers. So maybe it would have helped. But archers, so long as you can, like, stay ahead of them and, like, attack them from range. And plus they've got zero HP. I mean, zero um, pierce armor. <laughs> oh my goodness. He just unloaded the rams and it was just a slaughter there. Yeah. He's taking out all the vills, going for the TC. And look at this. The dude slung him enough stone to build a castle. And I saw these villagers coming. I was like, dude, he's making a castle inside of my base. Um, and at least one decent play here. My vills uh, went out here because that's where my gather point was. But I pulled them back because 
I knew that this was my cubby, this was my safe cubby that he's not supposed to know about. So if I go to his view here, um, <laughs> why can't I do this? Um, I thought I had, there we go. Okay. Yeah. So he doesn't see that I have anything in there. So at least I can save a few bills there. But uh, Morty's got to think, okay, crap, I need a butt ton of archers. Um, unfortunately, there's also the rams, which uh, are going to be a problem because archers don't kill rams very easily. I'm still trying to get some barracks up, but then I realize, oh, crap, these are coming this way. I'm not going to get those up. So. I mean, hey, you know, earlier when you said that you'd never seen the rams, it could have been that he was preparing for if I had any archers over there to help you. That's true. And look at this. These are 12 condo heroes. They're going to take this TC out, no problem. Like, even though they've got zero, um, zero pierce armor, just immediately gone. Now over here, you've got 15 of them. They're going to take this TC out. You don't even need the rams. That TC's a goner. And, and those last so few vills. Fast. They close the gap so quickly. Yeah, these are they're fast, too. Yeah, you're right. That's why I think the archers were, you know, they're great, but... They would need a meat gotta, shield. Yeah, you gotta have something in front of them, like Cav. And he's making more barracks. Uh, he realizes that... Um, and he's, it's a good play here. A lot of times, after someone kills the first person, they forget to go for the other person. Um, so now he's sending this off to Morty's base. Morty's trying to gather up some longbows. He's got nine of them at the moment. Um, not going to be enough, but we'll watch this fight as it starts. Um, Red pauses out here for a second. Uh, notice you haven't seen anything at all from Purple. He's just slinging. He's not making any army. He's just slinging. He's up to 107 villagers, and he keeps sending more food, more gold. And then, unfortunately, these archers target this ram. And this ram has so much HP, these archers are never going to get it. Never going to kill it. Uh, and so that give, lets the uh, condos come in and get free hits on them. Uh, and just immediately overwhelms. Um, so now Morty's got to back up. He is thinking knights. Okay, I guess that's why you were thinking knights. You are building stables. <clears throat> yeah, something like that. Yeah. Well anything really <laughs> but it's just it's so late at this point now i actually i did escape some villagers i realized he had sent the army away so i was like okay i can get some eco back in over here and maybe uh maybe at least bring something to this fight because now morty's all on his own um and while archers are the right play against the condos he, he, it's not you know you need a lot more and he's got a ton of condos uh, and he's yeah, also got was doing well He's also got Huskarls in here. Out. Oh, really? Uh, yeah, so he's got 26 Huskarls. Now he's making full Huskars. He's got 11 Huskarls in the queue, and he's got 36 condos on the field. So Huskarls have Pierce Armor. Um, hella Pierce Armor. So he saw your archers, and he's like, okay, well, I'll just go Huskarls. <laughs> That's literally what that had, that was. In which case, yeah, yeah your archers are going to die to the Huskarls. Um, and, and, yeah, going back... Purple is just minding his own business. Look at all these farms. 125 villagers. Um, Red's even got the trebs going. So, making longbows isn't going to happen now that they're, you're losing castles. Um, and pretty soon they're going to bust, uh, bust right in here. I guess, oh, yeah. I mean, now that he switched to Huskarls, Knights was a better play for sure. Because knights will kill Huskarls a lot better than archers will. And they probably do okay against Gondos. Um, at least okay, if not if not pretty good. I don't, I don't really know. Um, but yeah, now they're on their way in. These archers are gone. Huskarls oh, yeah. are coming in base. for them. My whole base is gone. Uh, yeah. Point. Town bell gets rung. And this TC's gonna go down real quick. Yeah. 
he flooded everything. So at this point, he's got 60, almost 70 military. He's even got some pikemen in there, so he's got more than 80 military. Um, and we've got absolutely nothing. So, uh, honestly, really good play. I even told them at the end, nice play. Uh, we just did not see it coming and had no way to defend against it. Um, unfortunately, with all the all-in plays these days, it makes it really hard to be defensive because if you um, try to play like a normal game, get some eco, make some army eventually, and um, the, by the time you do that, someone's already like spent all their eco on making a massive military and it just comes steamrolling you. Um, sure, you can defend against those types of strategies, but you have to see it coming and you have to know how to defend it. And because there's like 40 sieves in the game, there's so many different strategies that could be used against you. It's hard to know how to defend the Bohemian Wagons and the Portuguese Organs and Spanish Conquistadors and uh, literally all these different all-in strategies. Um, and in this one, on top of that, uh, honestly just really well executed. Uh, we'll take a look at the stats real quick. Um, I mean, it was a slaughter, obviously. Uh, 113 kills, uh, 44 buildings raised. We didn't kill shit. Um, 88 army high, so almost 90 army there. Uh, and if you look at the villager count, um, actually, uh, where's, where's the villager count? Uh, villager max. So red was actually the lowest on villagers, 56. So, I mean, what does he need villagers for? Purple slinging him. Purple, 138 villagers. Um, and then he sent him, uh, he sent 14,897 resources. Of that, 12,000 made it over there, so there's a little bit of tax there. Um, but that's a good eye spotting that he got the, uh, the coinage tech to reduce that tax a little bit. So they, they were planning this from the beginning. These guys know each other. Or yeah, at least definitely. they agreed on the strat. <laughs> no, they definitely uh, know each other. That uh, was coordinated pretty good time for purple and then he just went straight eco um 2130 for a uh, fast imp time that's pretty good uh that's pretty good um turk i think turks can do a little faster than that but for goths i, I don't know if you can do much better than that they've clearly practiced this strategy <laughs> uh i did yeah, get I would say so. yeah I did get some relics, but even here at the end, he's stealing them from me. Didn't do any good. Just didn't see it coming. No. Better luck next time. <laughs> That's right.